Hi, I'm Dr. Lawrence Chan from Cardiac Vascular Central Kuala Lumpur. This is one of Malaysia's first private cardiac and vascular hospitals. Today, I'll be taking online questions on the topic of hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, and obesity. And I'll get straight to the questions immediately. Question number one, how is high blood cholesterol, high blood pressure, and a high body mass index interrelated with one another? Well, these three conditions often occur together in any one particular patient. However, it doesn't mean that they always occur together in one patient. In other words, they can occur separately or in separate different kinds of combinations. Each of these conditions will result in an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, such as heart attacks, strokes, and kidney disease. If they occur separately, they increase our risk quite a lot. But when they occur together, they increase our risk much, much more. And question number two, if I had high blood pressure, does that mean I will also have high cholesterol? Well, no, not necessarily, but your risk will certainly be higher. And question number three, what does it mean if I have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and a high body mass index? Well, it means that your risk of cardiac and cardiovascular complications would be certainly higher than other people who do not have such conditions. However, in this day and age, we know that there are many things one can do, such as lifestyle modifications, especially in terms of exercise, and dietary modifications in terms of taking a low salt and low fat diet, which will certainly help reduce your risk. Unfortunately for some people, despite modifications, as I mentioned, they still would have persistent high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Well, not to fear because these days there are good medications that will help control those situations and yet not increase your risk of side effects very dramatically. Question number four, how does having high blood pressure increase my chance of getting a heart attack, stroke or kidney failure? Well, persistent and poorly controlled high blood pressure would stress the cells that line the arteries of our body. What are arteries? Arteries are the pipes that allow oxygen-carrying blood to reach the organs. When blood pressure is poorly controlled, it will affect the arteries such that you will build up plaque. And plaque will build up and eventually block the blood flow. Occasionally, the plaque will even burst and a clot will form and block the arteries. If the block happens, the organ beyond that would be badly affected. If it's in the heart, that will be a heart attack. If it's in the brain, that will be a stroke. And if it's a kidney, it would result in kidney scarring, resulting ultimately in kidney failure. Question number five. Does having a high body mass index increase my chance of having a heart attack and stroke? Well, uh, having a high body mass index means you're overweight and it certainly increases your risk and hence the importance of keeping fit. Question number six. How will I be able to tell if I have high blood pressure or high cholesterol? Well, both of this condition, these conditions are asymptomatic in the main and patients often only find these things out when they go for a routine checkup or if they go and see their doctor for some other illness and when the doctor checks their blood pressure and finds it to be high. Question number seven. My parents have a history of heart attacks even though I am not suffering from high cholesterol, high blood pressure or high body mass index. Will I have a high chance of getting these conditions? Unfortunately, these conditions have a high genetic component, so your risk would certainly be higher. However, it's not an inevitability. So, one has to exercise, and one has to keep fit, and one has to eat a healthy diet. And very often, we would at least delay or at least reduce the significance of these conditions. That's all we have time for today. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I hope you tune in again for our next video. Goodbye.